Leslie Hart once said that teaching without an awareness of how the brain learns is like designing a glove with no sense of what a hand looks like, its shape, or how it moves. And so today, I want to explain how the building block of your brain works. This is a neuron. These little hair looking things at the top are called dendrites. They accept the signal that your brain is attempting to send, then they pass it down the axon to the terminals at the bottom where the message is relayed to the next neuron. This is essentially how thinking occurs in your brain. A message is sparked, relayed, accepted by the dendrites, then passed down through the axon and released at the terminals towards the next neuron. The analogy that I use is for you to imagine that, in, that the nucleus is filled with a signal much like the parking lot of a postal service filled with mail delivery trucks. Well, if that parking lot were here in Corpus Christi and we had a hundred thousand trucks filled with mail headed to Houston, would we want those trucks to travel down the same road or would it be more beneficial to send them down many avenues? If we built new roads, we could spread out the mail trucks and have them arrive in Houston at a much faster rate. Every time you learn something new, you're putting pressure on your neurons to stretch their axon terminals and build new avenues for your brain to send signals. Here is an actual MRI image of a neuron that has stretched its axon terminals around the entire brain of a mouse. This is actual proof that the growth mindset is occurring both theoretically and physically in the brains of our students as they learned. If we extend the analogy even further, you can say that this neuron represents the evolution of human communication. Where we once sent mail through our postal service, we can now use the internet and send messages globally with the click of a button. Imagine if we could do this for the brains of all of our students.